Our next speaker to deliver opening remarks will be Senator the Honorable Paula Gopi Schoon, Minister of Trade and Industry. Senator the Honorable Paula Gopi Schoon was reappointed Minister of Trade and Industry on August 19, 2020. She has been a member of Parliament since 2007 and previously served as Minister of Foreign Affairs. In her second term as Minister of Trade and Industry, she aims to continue building upon and expanding programs initiated in the last five years in an effort to improve the export capacity of the local manufacturing sector and position Trinidad and Tobago as the business and trade hub of the Caribbean. She will also continue to lead the charge towards stimulating domestic and foreign investments while implementing policies to enhance the global competitiveness of Trinidad and Tobago. She believes in continuous stakeholder engagement to ensure participation in the growth and development of all sectors for a sustainable and vibrant economy. It gives me great pleasure to hand over to Minister Gopi School. Thank you very much, Stacey. And um, let me recognize my colleague, the Honorable Ayanna Webster Roy, Minister of State in the Office of the Prime Minister and having, and having responsibility for gender and child affairs. Mrs. Pamela Cook Hamilton, who's wearing red for us today. My staff told me, do not wear red. <laughs> <laughs> Executive Director of in the ITC International Trade Center, Mr. Ashmi Mohammed, Chairman of Expo TT, Mr. Franco Costello, the President of the uh, Manufacturers Association, Joanne Salazar, President of the International Women's Forum for Trinidad and Tobago, Specially invited guests, the female entrepreneurs. We now have more than 280 participants looking on at this time. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, all, and a pleasant good morning to participants in Trinidad and Tobago. And a special good afternoon to our guests joining us from the International Trade Center in Geneva. I take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the official launch of the She Trades Hub of Trinidad and Tobago. Today we conference under extraordinary circumstances, but it is such a proud moment for Trinidad and Tobago as we have the honor of being the first country in the Caribbean to officially launch a She Trades Hub. Trinidad and Tobago is now part of a community of over 25 countries working towards connecting over 3 million women entrepreneurs to global markets by 2021. It's a movement. She Trades provides a pathway for business expansion enabling Trinidad and Tobago's female entrepreneurs to receive technical training, professional mentorship, compete in international tenders and procurement processes, and attend international trade and business events. It also encourages engagement among female-owned businesses on online forums to exchange ideas, experiences, and to collaborate to develop solutions to overcome challenges often faced by women in business. This transformative platform offers invaluable opportunities for Trinidad and Tobago female-owned MSMEs, as it promotes their inclusion into global supply chains, facilitates business-to-business -business and business-to-consumer linkages, and provides an income-earning avenue for our enterprising women. Locally, we can boast that female-owned businesses exist in almost every sector and industry. And this platform will offer an international trade gateway for these entrepreneurs granting access to a market of approximately 2.7 billion persons across 25 territories at this time. And this initiative is beneficial and unique as it aims to foster change by going beyond the traditional approach of merely, of merely improving the quality of women's products and services. Instead, it sets out to engage all actors involved in women's economic empowerment, including governments, the private sector, and civil society. In developing our She Trades Work Program, Trinidad and Tobago and the ITC will collaborate to design strategic initiatives and activities in line with four of the seven pillars of the ITC chapter. Pillar one, championing quality data. Pillar four, striking business deals. Pillar five, enabling market access. And pillar six, unlocking financial services. We believe that these specific pillars will synergize best with our Vision 2030 National Development Policy and pivot our female entrepreneurs as drivers of Trinidad and Tobago's economic growth. The implementation of She Trades in Trinidad and Tobago falls under the remit of our National Export Promotional Agency, Export TT. And Export TT will be further supported by the Ministry of Trade and Industry 
and other trade-related and business development agencies, such as Creative TT, the Caribbean Re uh, Kariri, as you know it, and NETCO, or National Ent Entrepreneurship Development Company Limited. This initiative is already garnering high interest and is testimony of this government's focus on developing and growing the digital economy. Since April 2020, we have seen the number of entrepreneurs registered on the She Trades platform grow daily, and, are, and we are only at the launch stage. And these registered female-owned businesses represent a wide cross-section of sectors, including agro-processing, health and beauty, professional services, and the creative sectors. I am particularly encouraged by the response thus far, and I, uh, and I anticipate that the numbers will rise exponentially in the future. So in fact, we have today, we have about 800 persons already registered um, with she trades. So today's launch is just the beginning of a series of initiatives and activities associated with the launch, with the rollout of this hub in Trinidad and Tobago. And within the next two weeks, this is important, the ITC she trades team will conduct an interactive workshop with our registered female business owners to maximize their use of the platform. We are currently in the needs assessment phase, which will identify the gaps and challenges faced by you, our local female, female business owners. And at this point, I want to urge those of you who are not yet registered to go online, register on shetrades.com and complete the needs assessment. This is an instrumental part of the process. This information will be useful to develop and tailor Trinidad and Tobago's work program to best suit our needs. She Trades is not a one size fits all endeavor. And therefore, the projects and the policies which will be implemented will be in response to the gaps and challenges identified by you, the female entrepreneur. And this launch comes at an opportune time for the women of the world. Today's theme, the role of the female entrepreneur in COVID-19 recovery is pertinent to the government's commitment to provide the necessary enabling environment, the policy interventions, and the financial mechanisms to ensure that businesses succeed and there's longevity. I therefore look forward to participating in today's panel and anticipate a fruitful and enlightening conversation on the important role of female entrepreneurs in driving our COVID-19 economic recovery. In closing, I wish to especially thank all of you who worked tirelessly on today's launch, in particular, in particular the ITC staff under you, Pamela Cook Hamilton. You've worked closely with our team, including all of the members of the trade, Ministry of Trade and Industry and Expo, Titi and Simi, who has spearheaded this particular development. I also wish to acknowledge and congratulate all the female entrepreneurs who have registered for the program and are the first to be part of the Chi Trades Hub in Trinidad and Tobago. And again, I challenge others to be part of this transformative program that is set to reshape this country's trading and economic landscape. I thank you all. Thank you so much, Minister Dupi Schoon. We appreciate the support for this initiative and your drive to ensure that Trinidad and Tobago wasted no time in taking up the opportunity to launch this program to the benefit of our business women and entrepreneurs. I am certainly interested in hearing more about the program's potential and reach, especially in the context of prevailing global realities and the shifting fortunes and opportunities brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic.